FreshBooks users, it's Kate. I am up at the crack of dawn, as always, and I have to record this video. It's going to be very bare bones because I got one thing to teach you, and that's how to import your expenses into FreshBooks the right way. You are going to be prompted to do it the wrong way by almost everything in the software, and I need to tell you how to do it the right way. Do not upload your expenses from the expenses tab. All right, here we go. We're in FreshBooks. Let's come to the expenses tab down here, the pizza. So this is what it looks like. And you're going to think this, come up to more actions and import expenses from a file. FreshBooks support is probably going to tell you that this is how to do it too. The reason I'm making this video is because I just talked to someone and this is how they did it, but you do not do it. Look, you're gonna click here and right here, there needs to be a warning that says, if your bank is connected, do not use this feature. Developers, it'd be great if you added this warning here. Um, because this is not how you do it. If you do it from here and then you want to reconcile your bank account, which you should, because if you're not reconciling your bank account, your books are wrong, you're going to mess things up. You're not going to be able to properly reconcile. You're going to duplicate everything. So don't go here. Instead, you're going to go to the accounting tab way down here. Look, it's not even, it's not even visible y'all. So it's not your fault. It's accounting tab down here. This is what it looks like. You are going to go in to your bank account. If this is blacked out and says zero, y'all, because there's no, nothing to reconcile, you can still hit the zero even though it's black. Um, and this is where you're going to do it. You're going to add bank transaction and you're going to import from file. Now, I don't have a file to import. I'm pretty sure I have a video on my channel about how to use this. Um, but you're going to want either three or four columns for that CSV file. You're going to want the date. You're going to want the, the description of the bank text. That's going to be the most useful column to keep after you've exported your transactions. And you're going to want a column with the amounts. If you have a single column, you're going to want any money in to be positive and any money out to be negative. Um, or you can do it in two columns. The money in's in one column and the money out's in one column. I typically like it to be in one column with positive and negatives. The reason you have to do it here, y'all, is because this button, this add bank transaction button, this is in 2023 spring, um, this button is probably only about five or six months old where people could add their own missing bank transactions. And what happens is it kind of acts like the bank was connected. And what happens when the bank is connected? Whenever you have a transaction, it puts it in FreshBooks and it puts it in the expenses tab. So if you've manually uploaded your expenses, First of all, you've only uploaded the outflows, the money out. Not, at no point does this button up here, this import expenses, give you any information about what has happened in your bank account in terms of money going in to the bank account. Um, so you add it here and it's going to put everything in the expenses tab again. It's going to put any money out in the expenses tab. So just yesterday, someone got some help from me. They had uploaded their expenses from this expenses tab and then they want to reconcile their bank account and we have to go and delete all those ones that they first uploaded. So this is where you add everything. And it's so much better because you get your inflows too. You get your deposits, you get your refunds, you get any money you might have transferred into that account, whether it was an owner's contribution or a transfer from another account. Um, if it's a credit card, you're going to get your credit card payments uploaded. So like, oh my gosh, only upload missing transactions from here, never from here if your bank is connected. That's the critical thing. If your bank is connected, you cannot use upload expenses from the expenses tab. I'm on a little bit of a tear. It's early in the morning. I don't even have makeup on. I've had one cup of coffee. I realize I'm getting a little bit passionate about this. I just see this error all the time. There needs to be a warning on that expenses upload, and there's there's not. If your bank is connected, you can't use that. It's going to mess things up and give you give you heartache. It's not going to mess things up beyond repair, but you're going to have to do a lot of work to fix it. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching this very unpolished video, but the information is what's key because I just felt so bad for that person yesterday, and I've seen this happen, and it's time that I made this video. If you need help with FreshBooks, please reach out. I have free monthly Q&A session that anyone is welcome to join. There'll be a link to sign up for that below. It happens every month. If you've been DIYing your books and you're realizing that maybe you've done some things wrong, I also can just help you directly one-on-one. -on -one. We can get things cleaned up. I can show you how to do it. We can sit together screen sharing for an hour, 
Maybe you go home and have some homework that we've identified that you've got to do to clean up, come back for a second hour. That usually works very, very well with people who've been doing their own books and still want to do their own books, but just need a little bit of help from an expert. So please reach out, y'all. My contact info is below. All right, now I got to go get my kids up. <laughs>